Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. William Johnson, the barber of Natchez, was murdered on this day, June 17, 1851. Johnson was a free man of color who kept a diary for 16 years, chronicling his daily life as a mid-19th century businessman who ironically became a slave owner himself. Returning home from his plantation one evening, Johnson was ambushed by his mixed-race neighbor, Baylor Wynn. Johnson and Wynn had been involved in a boundary dispute, which had been settled in court in Johnson's favor. Accompanying Johnson that afternoon, where one of his sons, a young African-American apprentice, had and a slave. After he was shot, Johnson lived long enough to identify Wynn as his assassin. Wynn was held in prison for two years and brought to trial twice. Wynn's defense team argued that their client was white, the product of a white and Native American relationship. Therefore, the administration of any of the African-American witness was ruled as inadmissible. Baylor Wynn, however, was half African American. Johnson was buried in the city cemetery and today his house is part of the Natchez National Historical Park. I am Destiny Gossett, a student at Natchez Freshman Academy. This has been your Natchez History Minute.